my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Cutlery. 22 veterans a day in this country take their own lives. Vets, I love you. You have a place here. We'll put some links in the description below to some folks that can help you if you're struggling. I've got to go back and catch up some videos on that. I will take care of that today. But vets know two things. You have a place here, not just on my channel, but this whole knife community. And I love you. Don't fight this fight alone. We back to blue over here. We support Leo. Hey, do that scab. But we don't break the damn law. And finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. That's very important. Now, uh, it's been a screwy week. It's been a screwy couple weeks. Schedule's all up and down. And I hadn't been wanting to do as many riding with scabs. I wanted to do more knife reviews. Uh, schedule just hadn't allowed it. And then yesterday, well, Tuesday night, we shot an episode of Blade Talk. Joe's released it. I'm going to put a link in the description below to Blade Talk. I love Blade Talk. And it's he and I catching up over the past uh, couple episodes we had. You don't want to miss that. I know those videos are longer. Pop them in the car, going to work, going home. Uh, they're a lot of fun to do, and I really, really, really enjoy them. Now, let me show you what we got today. What we have today is the Emerson Vindicator. I am a huge Emerson fan. It's three and a three quarter inch blade. It's CM154. It's Grippy G10. It's all of those things. It is a, uh, uh, I can't think of the grind. I just drew a blank. It, it's Emerson's typical grind. Um, chisel grind. It's a chisel grind. People say, oh, Scott, listen, I like it. Is it my favorite grind? No. Does it work? Absolutely. I love it. And I love Emerson knives. Give you another look at it. Now, one thing I will say for Ernie, that G10 he puts on there is incredible, son. It ain't coming out of your pan or out of your hand, and it'll tear your pants up. So you may want to take a little sandpaper sand it down, rough it up, do whatever. I, in particular, like it because of my hands. I like the grip it gives you. It is a, uh, it's a liner lock. A lot of people don't like that. It does have Emerson Wave technology, a little thickness test there, the Captain Electro thickness test. <coughs> Standard pocket size. Let me know what you're carrying today. I've got several on me today, as I always do. I got an asshole behind me driving about 112. I, you know, any other time, there'd be cops all up and down giving me speed tickets. Now, you know, speed racer back there. Ha-ha, I'm going to run up your ass. Ha-ha. It ain't one in sight. That's okay. We're going to do what we're supposed to do. If he makes me mad, I'm going to throw his ball at him. I ain't felt well in the past couple days. Now, we shot an episode of Blade Talk Tuesday night, me and Joe. I went to bed Tuesday night. I woke up yesterday at noon, I think, sent him what I needed to send him to get Blade Talk done. And I went back to bed and I woke up this morning about six o'clock. Every now and then, guys, I just run out. I run down, I run low. And uh, for all of you who, who messed with me, Scabry, okay, one, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. And I will get back with everybody. I woke up, had a message from Carl, and, several others guys i'm good i, I appreciate so much y'all checking on me it's just every now and then man i just and people say oh it must be nice no it ain't nice because i got shit to do it's like i literally my body just literally shuts down and i sleep um and thank god i've got a, a loving caring wife who really truly honestly looks after me and takes care of me and make sure everything gets done. And Megan, I love you, honey. Thank you so much. Um, what y'all see on camera is exactly how she is. That, that's the God's honest truth. And just phenomenal human being. And I love her with all my heart. I, I couldn't get by without her. I couldn't. So it's been a couple, it's been a screwy thing. My schedule is still up in the air. Um, they're playing around with it. That's not, a, I'm not saying that negatively. I'm, I've gone full time and I'm so appreciative but once I get my full-time schedule down, and it, it's either next week or the next, um, I don't know what the hell the holdup's been, but once we get that down, we'll get back to business videos. I've got a lot of videos to catch up on. I've got a lot of um, knives to review, which I'm glad for.
and I've still got to ship some stuff out. I'm going to pick up some boxes today and get that stuff out. I got one more review to do with uh, Go, man. Oh, Lee. With uh, that Winkler. And I, I'm a Winkler fan, guys. Some people don't like them or some people for the money, blah, 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 whatever. Uh, everybody's got their own opinion, and I respect everybody's opinion. I am a Winkler fan. And let me let me say this. Uh, we've got, I've got a couple of Bark Rivers people are sending to me to test. I've got a Storm Vector, and I've got one of Chris Tanner's that I'm going to test. Now, I try to do as many budget items and, and, and things like that as I can. But if I can get my hands on, if I can get my hands on something that's a little more expensive and you don't see many reviews on, I'm going to do that. James from James uh, G Outdoors. Is that it, James Adventures? I'll put a link because I'm just I'm struggling this morning. I'll put James G Adventures, right? And James, he's a good dude. I'm gonna put a link to his channel. Make sure you subscribe to him. He's going to let me borrow uh, one of his Chris Tanner knives. I'm struggling, guys. Y'all got to bear with me. We got a lot of stuff coming up. So, people say, Scabby, okay. Yes, I am okay. I just had to catch up on some rest, man. Every now and then, <clears throat> I just shut down, like I said. So, and I'm still a little addled today. Now, I've got Caden Hollis this afternoon and tomorrow. Um... So, we'll do videos, but I don't, you know, it's going to be a few days before we get caught up. I wanted to do this video, one, it kills some time on the way to work, two, let y'all know where I'm at and I'm okay, three, to say thank y'all for checking on me, and four, so you can see my handsome, rugged, good looks and melodious tones, five, so I don't literally lose my shit and kill this person in front of me. That's why I do it. Hope you enjoy it. God bless you. Now, again, let me show you this Vindicator again. Cause I'm a huge fan of this knife. Now, a good look at that. Now, here's the deal. That's what, see that side? You barely see any kind of line there. Flip it over, and that's the chisel grind is where they only sharpen it on one side. This is CM154. Lord God, I said CPM154 one time. And people, oh my God, listen, you'll be okay. Back off the Beano. Old Scab will make a mistake here and there. It, it's okay. It's all right. I swear it is. Now, hey, do my last fall. Now, CM154, Emerson Wave Technology. Okay, quick to deploy. Now, again, it's a liner lock, but here's one of the things that I love about Ernie's knives. You see, straight through there, it's easy to clean. Very, very basic knife. It's, it's, this is made to clean well in the field, to sharpen quickly in the field, all of that stuff. Ernie started out making knives for SEAL Team 6, <clears throat> and then, well, he didn't start off making them, but in the 80s, he made knives for SEAL Team 6, and he is looked at as kind of the grandfather of the father of the modern uh, tactical folder. And you gotta, if you, you ain't tactical if you don't have one of these. Got to get you an Emerson. Now remember, I carry my CQC7 and CQC8 forever. I'm sending those to DJ Horn to repair um, from some of my dumbassery. That and my frenzy let DJ fix those for me. But I always have an Emerson or an Emerson design close by. I just like it's a rugged ass work knife. <clears throat> See if I can clear my voice up here. Lord have mercy. I'm just running low today. There we go. <clears throat> Picking up a little speed. Alright. That's going to be about it. I love y'all. God bless y'all. I'm trying to... Oh, this is big. This is this is important. D-Bad did a shout out last night. And I appreciate that so much. Now, I'm going to mention this every video. Donnie is trying to get to 10,000. My goal for this year is 5,000, but right now I'm just trying to get to two. We're trying to get Joe from Steel Forge and Fire up there, the Shredder, Carl, all of these folks, okay? I'm going to shout out. I know not everybody does this to grow. If you like what you see, if, if this is your first Choir Boys cutlery video, check out some more. 
I always say that. Riding with scabs are more for the hardcore subs. <clears throat> and I know we hadn't hollered at a lot of people today. I don't know if my voice can take it a whole lot. But please, hit subscribe, share, like. I really want to get to 2,000. We're really trying to get Donnie to 10,000. We're trying to get Joe to 1,000. We're trying to get everybody to grow Shredder to 1,000. Guys, if you are not subscribed to these channels, please subscribe. It helps out a bunch. It helps to keep doing it. I love doing it. And as long as we're growing, I'll keep doing it. Well, listen, I love y'all. God knows I do. God bless y'all. I hope he does. My guy, Mikey, whom I love, says it best. He says, Gab, never give up, never surrender, and everything will be okay. And Mikey's true. And Mikey is a hell of a knife sharpener. Well, that'll wrap it up. I'm Scab. You're not. And I'm gone, son.